Shalom and shalom and welcome to our funky daily devotion. Dear congregation, today let us turn our hearts and minds to the wisdom found in the book of Sirach, particularly in chapter 39. This passage provides us profound insights into the nature of wisdom, the works of the Lord, and the importance of praising his name. As we delve into these verses, may our open our hearts to receive God's word and allow it to transform our lives. First and foremost, the passage speaks of the pursuit of wisdom. It tells us that a wise person who seeks out the wisdom of the ancients, who preserves their sayings, and who is deeply concerned with understanding the mysteries of God. The wisdom is not merely intellectual knowledge, but a deep understanding of God's ways and a willingness to align our lives with his will. As we reflect on the pursuit of wisdom, let us ask ourselves, are we actively seeking God's wisdom in our lives? Are we devoting time to studying his word, to seek his counsel and prayer, and to learn from the experiences of those who've gone before us? Let us remember that wisdom is a gift from God, and it is ours for the asking. Furthermore, the passage highlights the importance of acknowledging God's providence in all things. It speaks the goodness of God's creation, the purpose behind his works, and the fulfillment of his purpose in his appointed time. Even in the midst of trials and challenges, we can trust in God's prov providential care, knowing that he is working all things together for our good. In our lives, let us remember to trust God's providence, even when we cannot see the way forward. Let us have the faith that God is in control, that he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. As we face uncertainties of life, may we find comfort and strength knowing that God is with us, guiding us each and every step of the way. Finally, the passage calls us to praise and worship God for his goodness and his works, it invites us to sing praises with all our hearts and voice, blessing the name of the Lord for his unfailing love and faithfulness. As we gather today in worship, let us lift our voices in praise to God, thanking him for the wisdom, his providence, and steadfast love. In conclusion, let us embrace God's wisdom and providence for our lives, trusting in the guidance and praising his holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach. May we be like the wise person described in Sirach 39, seeking after wisdom, acknowledging God's providence, and offering him our heartfelt praise and worship. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the sunshine. Right now, it looks like the scroll is opening up before me in the sky. It's just golden and bright and beautiful, Lord. And we give you honor and praise for such beautiful vistas in the world that you've created. This worth, this earth, God, <laughs> this worth, this earth, God, can be heaven and or hell, depending on uh, whose lives are being lived, because there's much suffering on this earth. So, God, I pray that you would alleviate suffering. I pray that you would uh, bring us closer to you with everything um, that is used, God, by your mighty hands, that we might embrace God's embrace. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. Until next time, may God keep you and bless you. Bye-bye for now.